So I've been living in Toledo, Ohio for more than four years and you may wonder why. So let me show you this picture and my mom loves to tell the story, but this is my stepfather and they, they didn't talk for 30 years. They just got back together and he moved to the States and that's like the quick story. And I've been using this space as my home base because I like to have a place, you know, like to save some energy and go back to travel. So all this time I've been understanding more about this city and I think we can give it an opportunity to be a great place for digital nomads. So, Toledo is a mid-sized city located in northwestern Ohio, just a short distance to Detroit, and is surrounded by water and green views. It offers both the cultural amenities of a big city and a close-knit feel of a small town. So Toledo is no different than most of the cities in the states, that the distances on the area are far, like you going downtown takes around 10, 15 minutes. So if you want to enjoy Toledo, you need to get a car. Fortunately, I have this one at home, so I've been able to move around. There is transportation like buses, but I think it's a bit complicated, so I'll just try to get the car and go around. One of the things that I like a lot about Toledo is the coffee scene. Like, there's so many options. See the shirt that I have here? It says Coffee Quest 419. Because it's supposed to be an event, they show you all the coffee shops. It was the best uh, event to get to know most of the places. I'm talking about 419, it's the area code of Toledo. So if you happen to be here on April 19th, it's the best time because they're doing a lot of events, things happening around that day. And this coffee shop's called Sip Coffee. It's one of my favorites too. Like it's a huge space, two floors, coffee's great. You can uh, ask for coffee beans, they can grind it for you. And there's lots of tables, the AC area, outside area. Such a good place. To get to know the city better, I met with a local friend that was going to show me around downtown. This is like the best place to come every single Thursday throughout the summer. Except for sometimes it gets a little bit hot, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice because we got some music, we got all of the different food. So the lady from the food truck was very nice and she gave me tons of fries. I chose the Jenny's, it's like burger, a shroom burger. Really tasty. Private ride around Toledo downtown with your tour guide, Darcy Gasd. <laughs> Let's go. This is just such a beautiful location that I like to go to. Just to like sit and hang out or like maybe put my hammock up over here and just like read a book and stuff. Um, so we got the river, the Maumee River over on this side, the bridge that goes to the other side. And then right here we have the Fifth Third building, which is like a pretty notable building. This is the Renaissance Hotel. So when you go up there all the way to the top, there's a rooftop bar called The Heights. And so that's a really nice place to go. If you do end up going there, their brick-fired pizza is really good. Up there is also very beautiful. They have uh, a little waterfall that we can see in a second here. This building used to be a train station, um, and I think also like the Toledo Edison power plant. Basically, all of the power in Toledo was made right here. And so you can see like the big silos coming out. This is Imagination Station, a great place to like, if you're gonna come to Toledo with kids, this is the perfect place to take all of the kids, so. Right now we are at the docks. This is a place where everybody can just dock their boats and for events like the 4th of July. And then if you go a little bit further down, um, there's the You Are Beautiful sign. That's really just a nice place to take pictures. And then you can go to the restaurants. They have four different restaurants over there. Nice, thank you for the ride. Thank you for the scooter thing. And there's a few things I didn't know about Toledo that you show me. Awesome, well, hey, it was nice meeting everyone. And then I met with another friend to talk about the creative community over here. So um, aside from being a wedding photographer, so I own my own business, Green Eye Photography, located in Toledo, Ohio. Um, I'm also a, one of four leaders that help run the Toledo Creatives Group, uh, which is essentially a collective of all different types of creatives where we host monthly meetups and social events and workshops for creatives to come out have the opportunity to socialize with each other uh, and be able to connect with one another through a time where it felt like we were all distant, or I should yeah. say we were distant. Um, and so that group continues to live on. This is what happens when you come with other photographers. Look at that. Look at that massive lens. <laughs> I see how the footage looks. Wow, the game's been great so far, right? I mean, we're losing. Toledo yeah, is losing. It's, it's been pretty eventful, though. We're well, like three, two. Everybody, clap your hands. It's a good game. Oh, yeah. You said that Rodriguez is going to make a home run. Oh, yeah. He made it. Yeah, he, he made, made it. it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Nice. This would be nothing without everyone who literally came to me. Nothing. <laughs> Here in downtown, there's this nice coffee shop called Play One, and you can see like some of the buildings and the coffee. Coffee is great. Like they have drip one, they have cabinets, uh, fast Wi-Fi. Lots of tables. It's, it's more of a fancy place because it's downtown. People with suits and everything. You know, Toledo loves hockey. They have this place called the Huntington Center where they play. I mean, usually in winter, but we don't talk about winter that much because it's a whole different season. There are different activities to do. Let's just focus on the cool things in summer because there are plenty of things to do. So this is spicy Brussels sprouts and this is a poor boy like artichoke sandwich. So there's this vegan place in downtown Toledo that has surprisingly very good options of food. They're like everything there is delicious. I'm surprised how the vegan scene in Toledo is popping up too much. Like there's a lot of great options here. So one of the things that I like a lot about Toledo is their systems of metro parks. They have more than 20 and they're all nice. And this one is called the Glass City because actually Toledo is very well known, one of the first industries of glass. And this is a Glass City Pavilion. I mean, they're just showing off how cool they are with glasses. But... And this one has like the sky view, which is pretty nice. You can see the sunset going down and it's actually one of the newest ones. So they're always expanding. There's gonna be more things as the time passes by. But man, such a nice chill area. Like that's what I like about Toledo. It has all this nature that should be enjoyed, you know? I have a lot of interesting things on Because I met this guy who was uh, filming in the Metro Park and you just randomly you say, I don't know, I don't know, I was taking a picture and then we just got to chat and... Yeah. And I invite here here for dinner because... I am on a road trip around all 48 states. It's kind of like a spiritual journey, a vision quest, if you will. I was just like, I picked Toledo a, amongst a list of things to put in my road trip and here I am. It was fun like having a conversation with a stranger here in Toledo. It can happen. It can that's, happen. That's the cool thing, you know? Yep. But cheers, cheers for the random meetup. Cheers, absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad. So Maria and Bella has to be one of my favorite coffee shops in Toledo. I mean, all of the coffee shops here are really great. But this one, like, I like their coffee because they like they get their own coffee beans this one is from mexico and they grind it in pull over or any way that you want but man it's such a delicious coffee. this coffee shop it's in downtown but it's also in paris which is one of the cities or technically it's a township of toledo you have the toledo city but you also have the toledo metropolitan areas like paris Wood, sylvania oregon where i live uh bowling green maomi rossford like yeah there's there's plenty to see here Now, Tony Pacos is one of these places that you gotta visit in Toledo because it was made by a Toledian. His name was Tony Pacos, and he created like this. the famous Hungarian hot dog, and you can get it in a combo. Some mac and chili, some crackers. And one of the greatest things is the bonds that you can see here. They're signed by lots of famous people, even like the President Obama, Trump. It's very interesting. So, if you're around in Toledo, like these hot dogs are a must. And yeah, in the Farms World Metro Park, you can camp and spend a pretty cool, chill day. Like, they give you firewood, they give you this space just next to the river. The morning is beautiful. I can see the fog above the water. And I don't know, waking up to the nature noises. Pretty cool. Another cool thing about the metro parks is they have their own treehouse village, supposed to be the first one in the country. It's beautiful, like a few treehouses that you can rent. And there's one for families, just for like a couple. I want to rent a place here, but it gets reserved like way in advance.
Yeah, so it's a nice little coffee shop for the people that are living in the old West End over here. There are open mic nights and other small events every other week or so. So it's a comfy little place to get a cup of joe. We are in the old West End neighborhood of Toledo, originally built in the 1800s, late 1800s. Yeah, the houses here are still pretty nice and it definitely shows that the people that built them had a lot of money. It's because we're so close to the art museum there. This is where a lot of artistic and more eclectic people live. I had the pleasure of living here for a little bit, going up here, going to plenty of Old West End festivals here. Nice, <laughs> thank you for showing me. With my mom, I visited the Toledo Botanical Garden for a day of live jazz and beautiful plants. I love this place because there are beautiful flowers, amazing plants. This place? It's amazing! <laughs> You are beautiful. Well, as my friends said, there's like lots of restaurants here in the dock area. So I was gonna check one with my mom. I think the Mexican one because, I mean, we're Mexicans. Molcajete. Orale. Mmm. Chicken. Salud. If you want to watch a good sunrise in Toledo, you gotta to come to the Middle Grounds Metro Park because the view is really great. As one of the main bridges, and downtown to the left, the river is so calm. There's some uh, docks that are called the Muddy Hotties, and people jogging. It's a very, very nice way to start the day. All right, Darcy, where are we? Where are we? We are at the river, the Mommy River. You wanna know why they call it the Mommy River? Why? Because back in the day. The, when the Indians were here, I swear, this, this story was told to me. I don't know if it's true, okay. but this is the story. The Indians were here and a mom didn't want her baby, so she put it in a basket on the river. And then as the baby was going away, it was like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Is that real? Well, good to know. Good to know. But hey, yeah, we're going kayaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's it. It's a really cool um, kayak experience here in Farnsworth. It takes like 30 minutes to go from the starting point to this rapids area. It's beautiful. I took a day off with mom to visit the internationally known art museum in Toledo. That's a typical digital nomad. <laughs> And later, eat that pizza that my friend recommended on the only rooftop bar in town. Chicken pesto is much good. So by the name of this coffee shop, it's called Brew. It just gives it away. It's a really nice place. And so they serve it in this really nice coffee mug and have a vegan uh, pop tart. And it's mostly uh, for students because it's just close to the University of Toledo. So you're gonna see lots of people here. Like it's a great place to work, have some coffee. This is all just hospitality being built here. There's hospitality over there. Waiters are self. This is the thing about being photographers that like you see everyone's taking a picture. <laughs> Marcus taking a picture of people taking a picture. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> so the Solheim Cup is going to happen here in Toledo and it's going to be a massive event. It's going to be lots of... Uh, they're preparing the whole town or the whole city for this. We're going to bring more than 200 people. And now they're showing us around the whole like golf camps and it's beautiful over here. Once a month, there's a night market where you can find all kinds of arts and crafts, local food and live music. Nah, dude, it's a rare breed of seagull. Are, really they, are you kidding or that's... We call them Toleagles. <laughs> <laughs> and when the sun goes down, there's plenty of bars to hang out with friends, like this one that is called The Attic on Adams. It's hopper. It's good. Sergio, good. why did you order this girly drink? <laughs> Thank I you. just figured everyone had food and you're just sitting in between the <laughs> shoes. 
This is one of my favorite parks here in Toledo and it's just like five, ten minutes away from my home. And I'm showing Darcy because she's local. We've never been to Pearson Park, you know? Never been like, here. It's beautiful, I love it. It's cool in summer, it's cool in winter. Winter is so great, like it, it has a very magical, you know, like all the snow and the frozen river. It is a beautiful place and so chill. As Mexican or people outside the world, like, we usually don't see the apple trees. And here in the Pearson Park, is the, here's where the apple really comes from. I thought it was from, uh, from the supermarket. I dare you to take one off the tree and a bite into it. Eat it! Go, Baby Sergio! Apple. Is it sweet? Tart? It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like apple. Darcy, that's, that's your band, right? My band! Are you gonna my, travel with that or My beautiful band. Just finished this band and I'm gonna go on a trip to California and all that. But you're gonna have a YouTube channel, right? Where you're gonna share your spirit. Yep. So, yeah, you can check that with Darcy later. So there's a museum that shows you a little bit of the story behind the Great Lakes. There's these massive shapes of water at Toledo facing the one that is called the Lake Erie. This is why we have this big, big lake. But the cool thing is that you can actually jump into one of the ships, this one, the James Shoesmaker ship. You just go around and see how they used to live. And it's a massive, massive uh, ship. And it has views from the downtown to one of the main bridges. It's a cool um, little museum to check once you're here in Toledo. We're over near Toledo in Lake Erie. We are by the river, the Maumee River, which we call the Muddy Maumee. So this part of Lake Erie is a little more shallow. Closer to the Cleveland area in Ohio, the water clears up, turns more blue, a little more clear. Cheers, bro. Of course, Colin has the massive zoom. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Look at that. It's like the size of an arm. Just trying to peep some birds. <laughs> There's a middle sister and an east sister island. And they're they're more that way and they're in Canada. The Canadian American line is it's just on the oh, okay. it's probably just eight more miles. Hello. So to be honest, this is the very, very first time that I've ever been to a drive-through cinema. And there, we have one here, like a few minutes away from our home. Mm. Palomita too. Popcorn. Popcorn. And mosquito. Many mosquito. <laughs> yeah. That's just something that's safe. Let's go see some elephants in the Amazon. So, today is my birthday, and uh, yeah, we're gonna celebrate here with the family. We're gonna buy some friends. Yeah. Yeah, and have some that. time here in the backyard. It was better than the mole that I had in California. So oh. you're doing better than the oh rest of us. Oh my God! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! So yeah, the downtown has plenty of coffee options. This is one of my favorites called the Grinders Coffee and Community. And coffee is great. It's called Uncommon Coffee Roasters. See, there's a lot of tables so you can work. And the Wi-Fi is really, really fast. I see some people working and some people reading. Pastry comes in this beautiful package. Like this is a vegan pastry. It's a really cool place. Oh, and there's this Mexican restaurant and market where we can get all our stuff from Mexico. Are you happy in Toledo? I have been in Toledo. Uh, now, in the Maumi Bay, this park, amazing view. And I'm happy and... in Toledo because my mom is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for visiting me. And you have your home here, always.
Well, after spending a good time here with the family in Toledo, it's time to go and check new cities. Alright, thank you for watching the video. Let me tell you about a website that I've been using all these years working remotely. It's called nomadlist.com and you can check all the best places to work remotely and you can even like filter, you know, United States and tell you all the best options. I mean, Toledo might be somewhere down below, but still you can find it there. And you can also create your own profile. You can put where you're going and where you've been and you can see who's around to meet people because uh, Nomadlist is very community-based. They have a Slack channel. There's a channel for uh, United States. So you can ask anything about there, maybe some people around Toledo or the area. And yes, Nomadlist is the sponsor of this channel in this video. So thank you, Nomadlist. And please go and sign up there because it's going to help me create more videos for you. And yeah, Toledo, Ohio, what do you think? I mean, on the video, I show you how much I like it. There's so many great things to do. If you don't know where it is, let's just put the map and show the whole United States. It's in Ohio, right? So we go start zooming in somewhere here. Uh, you're gonna see that we have Chicago, you have Detroit, Ann Arbor, Cleveland, Columbus, all those places are very close to Toledo. Toledo is in this area and it has like this massive Lake Erie and the river crossing by and it's also very close to uh, this place called Cedar Point in Sandonsky. It's like this amusement park, very famous, it's actually been uh, shown in the show The Voice. We're kind of famous over there, you know? <laughs> Also have a Google Map links in the description for all the places that I've been, coffee shops, metro parks, everything. So just check there. And yeah, as I said, it's a cool place. If you're around like Detroit, Cleveland, somewhere there, just give it a try. Toledo will surprise you. Uh, give me a comment, a like if you liked it, and uh, see you in the next one, my friend. Ciao.